and woo, nice and golden. It's coat, so it's working. This thing works. And of course, the hot water. Now I have a hot water for my coffee at the campsite, which powered by my Tesla Model Y. And of course, my little snacks or lunch from air fryer. Same thing for my Tesla Model Y. Now I can have my lunch and my coffee which powered by my Tesla Model Y by using this vehicle to load this charger from Test Lunch. So Tesla finally released a vehicle that you can use as a backup power for your house like Tesla Cybertruck. But the rest of the Tesla cars line like Model Y, Model 3, Model X, and Model S, you cannot actually take the power out from the main battery. They only have 12 volt sockets in your car. Like Model Y has two 12 volt sockets, one in the front and one in the rear, and Model 3 has only one in the center console in the front. But in today's video, you can actually take the power from your main high voltage battery and use it outside with the regular 120 volt plug like this one that's right so today i'll be testing this vehicle to load this charger device some of you may know that at the moment only a few evs that has the vehicle to load capability like kia hyundai and i believe the ford f-150 lightning also um, tesla cybertruck but now i can actually use that vehicle to load to get the power from main battery outside the car using this device so i'll be testing this device with a water kettle to boil the water and even this air fryer to cook something up so i will i'll be testing um, all of these devices out um, try to get the power from my tesla model y now let's test out this vehicle to load this charger device from test launch make sure your car state of charge is between 20 percent to 95 percent not lower not higher and as you can see here my car is at let me show you 52 percent and um, so that's pretty good and plenty of the battery to use other devices from the main high voltage battery from my car so first procedure uh, make sure you follow the instruction though um, because it's a little tricky because we are pulling the power from the high voltage battery remember so make sure your car is in park and then it's on and then just turn on uh, the button right here on the vehicle to load device just press the button as you can see it will it will stay red for um, a few seconds I believe about 25 seconds that's what they said um, on the instruction manual and then just wait until it turns to yellow so we're just gonna wait so it needs to heat up um, it needs to warm up first and ready to be used before you actually plug in as you can see it changed to yellow now we just have to plug in to your car then it should turn to green on both the car and the device as you can see let me show you real quick see the vehicle to load device it's green and the car is green blinking just like um, the, well, the vehicle is your tesla should be reading that you're about to charge the car so it's heating up um, the battery let me show you inside the car as you can see it looks like it's about to charge the car but it's not we are taking the power from the battery instead as you can see there's no um, power input in here at all so we'll be taking the power from the main battery and no error uh, message on the car thank god Woo. so now let's test out with a simple thing first a uh, phone charger so let's charge my phone with the device you can see they're all connected right and let's plug in the USB-C charging plug and then plug it into my phone All right now it's charging as you can see that is awesome 
that is really really cool wow i'm a little scared that it won't work and it might do something really dangerous but it's not it works it works fine it's taking the power from the car to my phone right now all right now it's charging let's see what it said in the car so there's no input power into the car but it doesn't show any output power it's still um, 51 percent because the phone charge um, used really little um, power or energy from the main battery of my tesla model y now we know it's working which is really really cool now let me show you how to turn it off so first unplug any plugged in device from your vehicle to load this charger and then press and hold the power button for two seconds one two then it should blink and it change to blue as you can see it's playing blue right now and then it's discharged from um, the charging port now it turns to white which is, will be safe to unplug now it's unplugged then my car back to normal it doesn't show that the car is charging anymore all right now we know it's working let's try to charge something um, more proper at the right location now i have proper small appliances to use at the campsite and the right location look at the view we have bison on the right and then mountains on the left side of us now let's test these small appliances out um, so these will use a lot more power than the phone charger that we tested before now let's do the same procedure so we have to press um, the power first so now the vehicle to load this charger is working right now so we're gonna wait for the red to turn yellow then we can plug into the Tesla Model Y let's get the plug ready it's yellow right now so let's plug it in all right so it should turn green here you go it's communicating with the car so the car thinking that it's charging right now but it's not it's um, taking the power the vehicle to load this charger it's taking the power from the car out to the small appliances so let's start with the hot water kettle first I'm just gonna plug it in so it's reverse actually upside down plug it in right and then, then turn it on right it's on right now should be working pretty cool it is actually working as you can see it's working yes and let's see if I can actually uh, plug in the air fryer at the same time so I have um, chicken nugget and fries inside so let me plug it in I'll just try to do a nice um, lower voltage on the air fryer so nothing it's overload so I'm just plug this one in all right you heard the noise and it's working so it's on as you can see I'm not sure you can see from here but it's on there you go now let's get cooking so I'm just gonna put like two minutes I'm just gonna test it out and then 390 and start all right so both are working at the moment so the see water kettle it's working so it should have lights come out but we can't really see um, from the daylight outside it's just too bright I'm just gonna wait a few minutes and then we'll come and see the result Actually, the water bottle is actually done. It's only been what a minute, probably one minute, but it's done. As you, as you can see, it's um, stopped it's back to off position. And look at that <laughs> hot water. I got hot water now. Um, turn the food. So I'm just gonna shake this guy a little bit. There you go. Back in. As 
back in here um, because the car thought you know the we are charging the car right now that's why it's preheating the battery at the same time so we're getting the juice from the main high voltage battery right now all right so the fr actually done two minutes and woo, nice and golden it's cooked so it's working this thing works and of course the hot water now i have a hot water for my coffee at the campsite which powered by my tesla model y and of course my little snacks or lunch from air fryer same thing for my tesla model y now i can have my lunch and my coffee which powered by my tesla model y by using this vehicle to load this charger from test lunch uh, finally someone come out with um, vehicle to load for tesla because again tesla does not have a discharger built into the car so it can only receive the power through a charging port you cannot extract the power out from the main high voltage battery um, to use outside the car like what you saw in ikea and hyundai also ford f-150 lining yeah this is really really cool i'm glad i got to test this and now we know it's working great no issue at all no error message in the car and it works fine i can plug in both um, devices at the same time or charge um, so now i don't have to use you know um, the external battery anymore to use any power while i'm um, camping or outside which is really really cool let me know what you think about this vehicle to load discharge device from taste lunch yeah now i can use this device all the time you know out camping um, hiking it's small enough and it's not that heavy it's about eight pounds i think and i can just keep it in the car i mean in my sub trunk um, all the time in my tesla model y <music>